Last night, we had our first argument, a silly argument about our commitment. Our views on commitment is as different as night and day, with me wanting to settle down and you not wanting your feelings on display. You know, it's funny how today everything are in reverse. A man who wants to settle down and a woman who think of herself first. Last night, you opened my eyes to another part of you. A part of you who has a problem thinking things through. When you say those things to me, do you think I have tough skin? You are making it very hard for me to even see you as my friend. I still remember that shy and innocent little girl, so naive you didn't even know how to cope with the cruel and harsh world. I took you in, cherished and educated you, but didn't know you would turn out this way. All that I've done for you, now you have in me, feeling betrayed. So tell me, sweetie, what makes you different now than the person you were before? Do you really care if I ever come back once I walk out that door? Last night, you brought out in me some very bad feelings, had me tossing and turning all night. Just staring up at the ceiling. Well, sweetie, after thinking it all through, I will say I do blame myself, and for that, I will seek out some help. Yes, baby, I need some help. I need help getting over you. I must convince myself that I'm not the one with the most to lose. With a highly skilled job and also financially stable, looking at myself in a mirror, I don't need to hide under any table. Last night, you tried your best to break me down to a sobbing little boy. But this morning, I woke up feeling happiness and joy. Okay, sweetie, you're officially free to venture out alone in this world. Make me the last person on your list to cry on his shoulders like a scared little girl.